not every day you start the adventure of a lifetime. Good morning. I believe it is day 33. Who knows? I am leaving Lead Island, or Lead Island, I guess. Um, heading to Fort Madison for a quick resupply. And uh, yeah, I have a marina there. I don't think it opens by the time I get there, but sure I can just tie up somewhere it's not like the kayaks that big and takes up a lot of room 6 45 a.m. I should be there in less than an hour this uh, Keokuk Lake which is where I'm at is very calm no wind yet which is awesome so I think we'll be able to make this distance pretty quickly um, good night I guess I totally always could keep on sleeping I'm tired but um, I actually slept pretty well straight through the night. I don't think anything really woke me up. Um, so, yeah, it was good. Um, nice little camp spot. Just again, some random spot along the beach. Um, I like those. Got to use the hammock. I always like that. So, oh, radio on my back. Um, but yeah, plan today. Get through Iowa. We should be in Missouri by the end of the day. Also, we should be really close to closing in on 1,000 miles paddled, which is a pretty big accomplishment. That is a long way. Big area again, as always, for the dams. Across the street from the Fort Madison Marina is a Dollar General, which has everything I need for paddling the next stretch of the river. All right, leaving Fort Madison, Iowa. A little bit of a resupply at the dollar store up the road. A little indulgence. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Hmm. So, got a really good, good resupply. More cans of chicken, got some pepperonis, bunch of beef jerky again. Um, some raviolis and stews and stuff like that. Just trying to find a little bit more of a variety because <clears throat> eating the same crap all the time really gets old, so. Yeah, aside from that, this is a big area that we're about to cross. Probably gonna take a couple hours, but We'll get there and 
we do that we get past lock and dam 19 that's keokuk not too far after that there's a little river that comes in that's the border of missouri so we're gonna do it today so let's get going Yeah, I was just about to come around the corner here. Um, you got anybody in the lock right now? Uh, are you a wreck load? Yeah, I'm a kayak actually. Okay, yeah, we have a uh, tow in here. And then we're taking another tow down with five wreck boats. Uh, you should be able to come in with them, but just uh, let that tow boat come in first. Get tied off, let them wreck boats come in. So we are sitting here at the Lock and Dam 19, Kia Cook, and uh, apparently there's a problem with the gates on the, da the lock. Um, they actually have a tow boat in there right now, and I think they had to reset the gates, whatever that means, and they're uh, having some issues getting them to work right again. So we're waiting on that to get fixed, and then I'm actually going to enter the lock with a tow boat and uh, five recreational boats unless something changes. But yeah, it sounds like it'll be a while, so. All that paddling across that huge body of water and now I uh, sit here idle and, and wait so but uh, so goes the uh, river with the locks. Lock 19 is unique in its size with the length of the dam spanning the river over a mile in width a drop of up to 40 feet and the most number of movable gates on the dam on the river at 119. There is a power plant on top of the dam somewhat out in the river which also adds to the uniqueness of the structure. Asking about the size of Lock 19, it was awesome to learn that I would be dropping 36 feet and we would be draining an estimated 54 million gallons of water in the process. Pretty incredible. Leaving lock 19, I get my picture taken and assume the standard pose. After a quick chat, it was time to hit another landmark point on the river. What's going on everybody? We just got through lock and dam 19 in Keokuk, Iowa. Um, this is a big moment. We just passed this little river here. I'll have to look up the name of it. but. Uh, Basically, it marks the border between Iowa and Missouri. So we are now leaving Iowa behind. We are now in Missouri. That's awesome. Um, it's a good milestone. It feels like we're really starting to get somewhere now. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to, uh, well, it'll probably be more of the same, but it'll, it'll feel different. I feel like I'm in another state. So um, that's uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa off the list. I still have the bordering states of Illinois and then uh, Missouri. And uh, yeah, we're making our way. And by the way, Keokuk, Lock and Dam 19, that's a big old dam. 
you drop three stories in that thing. So it's incredible, it's huge. I actually uh, went down with a tow and um, there was plenty of room for the both of us. So um, big, big chamber, big gates, big lock and dam. So it's pretty, pretty neat experience. Paddling a little further, I find a nice island to call home for the night. After settling in, I enjoy my favorite pastime of watching barges on the river. Good morning, it is day 34, I believe. I am on the river. I was on here about 6 6.45. We are now in the bordering states of Missouri and Illinois, so this will be my pulse. first full day paddling in Missouri. Slept okay. I uh, dozed off really early and then talked to my wife a little bit and then dozed back off again and um, slept really hard. So I uh, was just tired. I just I think the body is just ready for a little bit of a break it's just all the time and hard work and just need a little bit of a break but that ain't today so on the river we go um lots of flies on that island holy smokes they're just covering my boat when i woke up this morning and they're all over me and i was kind of happy to leave all that crap behind because that's just annoying as hell having to fight them off all morning but uh, yeah, got to see a few barges come by and that was pretty neat. No one bugged me, nothing bugged me except the bugs. But uh, yeah, I was up about 5.30, watched a towboat come by with the barges. And then I kind of watched the sunrise a little bit, which is nice. So yeah, it's uh, just gonna be another day of paddling. Um, I should reach the thousand mile mark any moment or have or will soon. and. That'll be pretty cool. And then uh, I could get as far as Hannibal, Missouri. I think that's about 40 miles from here today. Um, we'll see how it looks. Maybe I'll stop, maybe I'll uh, paddle straight through. We'll find out. So, oh yeah, other than that, nice quiet morning at the moment. And I don't want to say it too loud. The sun is behind some clouds. So it's kind of a nice cool morning. Actually I had to cover up last night. I got a little chilly. It was that cold. It was like 65, I don't know. So that was a great, cool night. Um, if only all nights were like that, I probably wouldn't be so tired all the time. So. so I'm waiting at uh, lock 20 for a tow to come out of the locks looks like he's just starting to inch out now um, so my kind of standard approach on the dams and the locks is a life jacket on of course I also put the rain skirt on um, and uh, what that uh, is for is for the exit because on some of these locks the tail waters coming out of the lock chamber can be very erratic and we never know um, which way it's gonna go lock 14 was the worst I had seen and I was pitching up and down like I don't know, a few feet. And uh, it's just super erratic with the currents. The wind can really add to that. And so um, the skirt prevents any water from crashing into the cockpit of the boat, um, causing me to get wet and unstable. So um, just something to think about, you know, when you come out of those lock chambers, you never exactly know what kind of uh, conditions you're gonna be met with. And once you're down there, it's kind of too late to change your mind. So um, just be ready for that and uh, practice safety. So. The best you can do.
Leaving Lock 21, I decided to pass by Hannibal. The shoreline was in rough shape from all the flooding, so I paddle until I find an island that's above water, then call it a night. Good morning, day 35. Um, left camp about a half hour ago. Talking to my wife on the way here, so that's why I didn't get to the recording right away, but Coming up on Lock and Dam 22, I can already see there's a barge waiting to go in, so I'm gonna be here a little while. Um, I don't know, camp was okay. I, uh, I didn't shoot any pictures of the um, campground, which kind of bums me out because it was an interesting spot. It was an island that was mostly underwater, except for this like peninsula that was like 20 feet wide and maybe five feet off the water. <clears throat> I didn't have a lot of room to run and play, but. It worked out for the night. I didn't sleep the best, but uh, what else is new? There was some goat or sheep or something bellowing all night at a farm across the river. Um, but uh, whatever. So it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so I'm just hanging out here and gonna wait for them to let me through and try to get to uh, Louisiana, Missouri today across the river. Actually, in Illinois, is a marina. And top off my water again um, and then uh, yeah try to get through lock 24 there is no 23 so lock 24 and I'd only leave a couple left after that so it'll be a good milestone so aside from that we're just gonna hang out here and wait for our turn So we are leaving the Two Rivers Marina, I believe it's called. Two Rivers Marina. And uh, just filled up our water, took a little break, chat with some folks, talked about flooding, of course, and kind of the impacts they had here. Same as everywhere else, it's pretty high in the building. Um, a lot of damage, a lot of. Uh, rework needs to be done so but um, I'm gonna try to continue on uh, wind is still up a bit but uh, I mean, it's gonna be the rest of the day so if I want to make any progress I just need to get on going so yeah um, a few miles down lock and dam 24 looks like it's on the right side descending so you can get through there and uh, see where that puts us for miles we are currently at 23, so yeah. Um, just gonna keep on keeping on. It'd be really nice and easy to just stop it. Their AC just blasted. I almost would rather just stay there and work for work for them and sit in the AC. But uh, gotta keep going. So here we go. After clearing lock 24 and checking out some more effects from the flooding, I find camp and call it a day. That's going to be it for episode 14. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.